Hi friends, um, my name is Miss Emily and I'm with Civic Nebraska in our virtual hub of Civic University learning content um, for adults and youth um, and everyone we serve in our communities across the state of Nebraska. So I am really excited today to be reading The Three Little Pigs, An Architectural Tale by Stephen Fornaccia. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a big house in the forest. One day, the three pigs said goodbye to their mother and went off to make their way in the world. The first little pig decided to build his house of scraps. The second little pig decided to build his house of glass. But the third little pig decided to build his house of stone and concrete. Now. There was an evil wolf who lived in the woods nearby. One day he came to the house of the first little pig and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. But the pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This made the wolf so angry that he said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house of scraps away. The first little pig ran as fast as he could to the house of his brother. Soon the wolf came to the house of the second little pig. The wolf called out, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The second pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf gnashed his teeth and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house of glass to smithereens. So the two little pigs ran as fast as their legs would take them to the house of their brother. Finally, the wolf arrived at the house of the third little pig. The wolf growled at the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. But the third little pig replied, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. See the pictures? Look at that house. This enraged the evil wolf, who roared, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, but he couldn't budge the house of stone and concrete. The wolf said, Little pig, meet me tomorrow morning at seven at Farmer Wright's, and I'll show you a fine tomato greenhouse. But the pig woke at six, picked the best tomatoes in the greenhouse, and was home slicing them for lunch by the time the wolf arrived. I'll get you yet, said the wolf under his breath. The wolf returned to the third pig's house and said, Little pig! 
Meet me tomorrow morning at 6 at Farmer Johnson's, and I'll show you an orchard full of tasty apples. The next morning at 5, the pig was picking the best apples at Farmer Johnson's and at Farmer Johnson's orchard when along came the wolf. Good, aren't they? said the wolf. They certainly are, said the pig. Here, try one. As the wolf chased the apple, the third pig ran home to his house of stone and concrete. That evening, the wolf went back to the third little pig's house and said, I'll meet you at Frank's flea market tomorrow morning at five. So the pig arrived at four. He was admiring a fine rug when he saw the wolf approaching. He hid himself in the rug and rolled down the hill toward the wolf. The wolf sped away with the rug following after him. The third pig returned home where he and his brothers prepared a roaring fire in the fireplace and settled in for the evening. Tricked again, the wolf rushed to the third pig's house, saying under his breath, Little pigs, I'll get you yet. The wolf climbed onto the roof and shouted down the chimney. I'm coming in to get you. But the wolf tumbled into the roaring fire, scorching his tail. The wolf ran from the house, smoke streaming after him, and was never seen in the forest again. The three little pigs ate a supper of tomato soup and apple pie, and they lived happily ever after. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this book because this might be a story you've heard all the time, but it, um... It's focused on some real-life people who were architects. And architects are those who build and design houses and buildings and parks and public spaces. They're really important to our community. Um, they designed our schools and our playgrounds. Um, yeah, architects are just really cool because they get to kind of make a vision and then make it into real life, and then people get to use um, their vision for years and years and generations. So um, inside the front cover of the book here are various architects. Let's see how can I get that? There we go. And so you'll see up in the corner, oops, this corner, this corner, has a house, and that looks like a house that we saw in the, well, it's, it, this is probably a building, but it looks like one of the little pig's houses. Can you remember which little pig's house looks like this one? Yeah, it was the third house. The third house made of stone and concrete. Now let's look down here. There's another one I wanted to show you. I can't figure out how to make this book look correctly. Well, I'm going to just show you inside the book. Because I can't figure it out. Anyway, okay, let's see here. Let's look at pig one. Little pig one who made a house of scraps. And let me tell you about who that is in real life. Okay? So this house of scraps, um, this house, and this pig, this this pig, okay, um, was is a representation of Frank Gehry, who made really fun and exciting um, structures like this. And so, if you ever look up Frank Gehry, you're gonna see buildings that are have, you know, jagged edges and. Um, different kinds of materials and are just lots of different shapes and really cool, okay? The next house 
was made of glass. And I'm trying to see if they show you this house made of glass. Oh, here. This perfect example. Um, this house of glass, um, that is based off of Philip Johnson, who built a glass house that, honestly, I looked it up. It looks just like that. It's just one long rectangular house of glass. And so if you look up Philip Johnson, you'll see this a glass house just like this. Um, and it was built in 1949, and it is in Connecticut, which is in the United States and far in the northeast corner. And then, finally, like we saw at the very front of this book, this is the house made of stone and concrete, and this is based off the architect Frank Lloyd Wright, and he helped introduce precast concrete bricks. So when we think of even things like Legos, Frank Lloyd Wright helped create um, precast bricks like that. He helped um, think it up and say this would be a really good idea as we build and design houses to use bricks that we made already and then we stack them and form them together to make these structures. So um, I just wanted to give you a little history um, because the Three Little Pigs, we hear it all the time. But even in the most original form of the Three Little Pigs, um, those pigs are architects. They are people. Um, they are animals who are making our um, making their community better. So a couple of questions for you to think about is when you are creating something, whether it's um, with art materials or whether it's with makerspace supplies like Legos or Kiba planks or magnetiles. Um, how do you let your personality shine through? Because all three of these pigs had very different personalities. Um, do you use lots of colors? Do you try to build the tallest, um, the tallest structure out of everyone? Um, what kind of things influence your creations? Is it your friends? Is it your pet? Is it nature? Um, is it your, do you build it based off the colors of your favorite sports team? What influences you when you are creating? So, um, thanks for letting me read to you today. This week, Miss Bree has a challenge for you. Miss Bree also works at Civic Nebraska, and she has a challenge for you to build like these three architects in the book. Um, so check out, um, civicnebraska.org slash the virtual, no, not the civicnebraska.org slash virtual hub and um, you will find her activities that go along with this book and you can find even more youth-centered activities under the Young Americans box on that page but um, really excited that I got to read this with you today and I hope that you check out even more um, activities at the civicnebraska.org slash virtual hub webpage. Thanks so much. See you again soon.